Okay, don't pay the ransom. I escaped. I'm free. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments from guys. Where are you at? Where you been? What's going on? Where's the next model? And all this and that. I've been reading all the comments and I've been, uh, well, I'll get to that in a minute. What's going on and <clears throat> what's been taking so long. And it's going to take longer. But uh, before I get started on that, I want to give a shout out to uh, two fellow, uh, well, one of them's a fellow YouTuber and the other one's a, a starving artist that I want to give some recognition to. Uh, the first uh, person is uh, Brian Simmons. Uh, he started up his own YouTube channel. Uh, I believe he's working on the aircraft carrier, the Antietam. And he's just starting out and he needs a little help getting going. You know, a few guys watching him and, and, and subscribing to his channel. Uh, and, and that's what keeps us going is them subscriptions. The more people you get, the more you feel obligated to come on every week and put out another video. But, uh, yeah, Brian Simmons, he's... Uh, He's got a pretty good format of a, of a channel, the way he's got it set up. It's pretty much like mine, you know, a little talk session, a little bit of what he's doing on his model, and, and, and this and that. Uh, so give him a, a you know, a look-see, and I think you'll be surprised. Not too many guys are doing too much right now with the winter being here and everything. I've got quite a few guys that I watch, and I haven't seen them do anything for over a year. So I don't know what's going on with them. But uh, I'll put his uh, YouTube channel right down here. It's uh, B-A-S uh, Dry Dock. So uh, check him out. Uh, you know, see if you can maybe subscribe to his channel or something. He seems to be one of the few out there uh, that are putting out some videos. Uh, I know you got old Frankie Day and Charlie Mack who just... Uh, they're like an old flathead V8. They just keep on going. But uh, yeah, give this guy a, a, a try and, and see what you think. Uh, the other person, and I, I'll tell you straight up, she's my daughter-in-law. And she lives down in Florida with uh, my son. And uh, she does, I, I guess you would call it pen and ink drawings. And they're mostly buildings, okay? And she does commission work. So if you have a house you would like to have done in her style of drawing, she does commission work. She's very good at what she does. Uh, she does not have a YouTube channel, but she is on the Internet. And I will put that down here, too. Her name is Kayla Brinker. And uh, I'll, I'll put it down. You, you look up KaylaBrinker.com, and you will find her... Uh, website and she has dozens and dozens of pieces of artwork for sale uh, during uh, Halloween season she went through all the uh, what can I say spooky houses you know like uh, the house from Psycho uh, the house the, the, the uh, mansion which is one of my favorite uh, the motel from uh, The Shining uh, you just name it Mike Myers house she did a bunch of them. Uh, holiday season, she did uh, Chevy Chase, uh, Christmas Vacation House. Just get on her website and look around. You probably find something that you would like to hang on your wall. But, uh, yeah, give her a try. Uh, they're not that expensive for a print. And, uh, like I said, she'll do commission work for you. So if you like to have your house or a friend's house for them for a, a, a gift or something, she does that kind of work. Uh, so give them two people a little look and see and uh, give you something to do because not too uh, many of us are doing models right now. All right, with that being said, where have I been and what's going on? Well, I got to say this has probably been one of the worst holiday seasons I've been through in my life. Uh, it started right after I finished that model, around October. Uh, we've had four deaths in the family. 
and uh, a couple of them hit us pretty good. Uh, my wife's sister-in-law passed away uh, about a month and a half before Christmas. And the worst one for me was my younger sister. She passed away a week before Christmas, and we buried her three days before Christmas. So that just kind of shot my whole holiday week. Uh, week. So, uh, and then on top of all that, with four funerals that we had to go to, and you know you're getting older when your friends start dying off and family members, and you know that's the time you got to you sit around and you go who's next but uh, with all that around the beginning of November my back started acting up and about a week or two after that started acting up I started getting a severe severe pain down the front of my leg to the point where I could not sleep at night I was getting one or two hours of sleep at night and then I get up and, and just if I got up and walked around and did something it would go away but let me try to lay down I, I just couldn't do it so I finally went to the doctor the bone guy and uh, he put me on some psychedelic drugs well you can't take things all day long like they want you to you just it puts you out there so I was just using them to try and get some sleep at night and uh, they've been working pretty good but uh, they're still trying to figure out what's going on. He thinks it's a slip disc. And uh, like I said, I'm sitting here in this chair. I'm feeling fine. I got no, no problems at all. But let me lay down and man, I just, I'm miserable. So that's kind of screwed me up from doing anything. So, uh, and then I've got my other hobby to contend with. Uh, and I'll be showing that. I'll probably put that up in another video what I'm, when I'm up against there. Uh, and that's, that's taken away my funds for doing the modeling. And I told you this a while back, if you just watched my videos, that I had the problem of what was I going to do? Was I going to build models or was I going to go with this other hobby and keep it up? I'm, I'm trying to keep them both going, okay? But they're both expensive, especially my other hobby. It's, it's quite expensive. And... I've got the model picked out for my next uh, build and it's over a $300 model. So I've got to get some funds together and try and get that going so I, I can get that model in here. And uh, let me get a drink of water here. I'm going to be making quite a few modifications to it. I never disclose really what I'm going to do next because I never know myself. Things might change. But it, I, what I'm looking at is a wooden model and it's about four feet long. So uh, for me to do this model is probably going to take about six, seven months. So uh, that's where I'm at pretty much on, on, on what's going on. I just, you know, it's, it's tax season. I got to get that started. So maybe I can get some cash flow in here. And plus the fact, and everybody's been through this, is this cold weather. We had two weeks there of below zero temperatures. The dog doesn't even want to go outside. Do you? She's down here looking at me like, who am I talking to? But uh, and she's got her little toy here. She's on my lap. She wants to play. So that's pretty much what's been going on. I, I, I just, uh, here she is. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me, give me, give me. She brings it over to you, then don't want to let go of it. Uh, but I got to get this back straightened out. Um, I, I've been going to physical therapy. I got another one of them to go through, and then I go back to the bone doctor and see what they want to do. Uh, I do not, I, I do not want to be cut off. So, I've had back problems all my life and, you know, it's been a, a, a thing that I've dealt with because of being a truck driver and, and usually I just wait them out, you know, a week or so and, and back pain will be gone and I'd be back to work. But this one here, this one's been about two months now at least, going on three, and uh, it's just giving me a fit. Ain't that right? Yeah.
So, uh, but like I said, uh, with my younger sister dying there three days before Christmas, that just, you know, sweetest woman you'd ever want to meet in your life. Did everything in her, everything was her family. She, she did everything for her kids, her grandkids, her great grandkids. She just, it, it was a mess, let me tell you. So, uh, getting through all that, uh, trying to get through this other stuff and what else I got going on. And like I said, in about a week, I'll put up another video and show you my other hobby and why it's, uh, it's postponed me from doing what I, you know, what you guys want me to do. All right, I guess uh, enough being said. Uh, like I said, I've been reading your comments, but a lot of them were hitting around that bad time, and I just didn't, I didn't answer them. Uh, I'm sorry about that. But uh, I just haven't, haven't been in the mood. I, I you know, uh, you know, this weather alone, you get cabin fever just from that, and then. You know, I, I really would like to have something down here to be working on, you know, get my mind off of stuff and give me something to do. But let me show you next week or so what I got planned here and why this is going to take some time. So, I guess that's enough being said. Uh, like I said, I'm sorry for not answering your comments that guys have been sending. Uh, I know I, I've still been picking up subscriptions even though I haven't done nothing for a while. But, uh... Yeah, watch where you're putting that. <laughs> Come here, let people see you. They haven't seen you in a while. If anybody remembers when we first got her, oh man, she's getting big. She's up. I know you're not seeing nothing. She's up to 17 pounds now. There she is. I mean, get up here. Let them see you. There she is. She was jet black when we got her. Jet black. Look at her now. Gray and white, black ears. And you got your toy in your mouth. Here, give me that thing. Give me that. There you go. Oh, she wants that. Yeah. But she's getting big. Yep, yeah, she is. Yeah. Oh, come here. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Say goodbye to everybody. Don't give me no kisses. I don't want no kisses. All right. We'll see you later. Uh, watch, like I said, in about a week or so. I'll be putting up another video about my other hobby. Uh, it might not interest a lot of you, but you know, it'll show you what's been costing me some bucks and what's keeping me so busy. All right. Uh, thanks for everybody hanging in there and worrying about me, but like I said, don't pay the ransom. I got free, didn't I? Yep. And uh, I will be back. That's because I do have this model I want to do. This is, I've been dreaming about doing this one for years. Uh, it's, I've seen a couple of them in person and I'm just fascinated by it. And uh, so I want to get it and get it going and uh, i got to get some shelves up here yet. Uh, I did get a gift card for $100 from Lowe's so I can go run over there and get my shelves and get my uh, models put up on them and some other stuff. Clean up this place down here a little bit. All right, I'm just rambling on now. She's wanting to play, and uh, won't let me go. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. Well, I'm back. You know, I can't never just end a video. Uh, I'm waiting for my computer to upload some updates. Uh, it's been a while since I've been down here on it, and every time I come down, it's got more updates to upload. But... Uh, I want to say this, uh, I'm not looking for sympathy from anybody, I'm just letting you know what's going on where I've been. Uh, so, you know, I appreciate any thoughts you guys might have about me, but, you know, I, we all got problems. Everybody, especially around our age, if you're one of the older guys, we all got problems. We all got health problems. So, I'm not looking for no sympathy. Like I said, I'm just letting you know where I've been and what's been happening in my life and been keeping me from building a mob. And also, I'm not going to join Patreon. 
or GoFundMe or nothing. I do this on my own. Okay, uh, I, I've never been a person to ask other people for money. I, I just can't do that. So uh, you know, I, I do. I do appreciate some of the guys that got businesses that they run. I, I do watch one guy that uh, runs a, a mechanic shop, automotive shop. I watch another guy that's a uh, machinist, and they belong to Patreon. And, and it does. Doing these videos takes away a lot of time. And, uh, you know, that helps uh, with them guys, you know, with the funds that they need. So, uh, no, I, I, I'm not that type of person. I'm not asking for no money, no sympathy, no nothing. Just, this is the way it is. This is the way I do it. So, uh, we're just going to have to live with that. <laughs> All right. So, uh, and anybody who's watched Solomon, uh, God bless his soul. You know, he's going through some major problems of his own. And, uh, you know, I was, I was really... Wishing he could get on that uh, New Jersey, I believe it is, he's building. But uh, he's having some major problems. And uh, so he, he's in a lot worse shape than I am. All right, so uh, I think that's it. My computer ought to be about ready to finish up here and I can get this uploaded and get it onto YouTube. All right, see you later.